The tranquil-looking Lake Manown in Cameroon is one real trickster. At first, it may seem calm and peaceful, but this lake is like a fiery volcano waiting to erupt at any moment. And it doesn't even have the decency to give any warning signs. Its last outburst was way back in 1984, which caused a bang that left everyone in awe. It's like the lake's got a soda can mechanism down there, or in technical terms, it experiences a limnic eruption. This rare phenomenon happens when gas from deep under the water suddenly erupts. Certain things have to happen prior for it to occur though. There are some things you can look out for if you feel worried. For starters, if the vegetation around a lake looks a bit flattened, it might have previously experienced a limnic eruption. That's because the water can pop up with a lot of pressure and overflow. The water being a bit warmer all of a sudden can also mean you need to head to safety. There's this lake in Kazakhstan that looks like a total disaster on the surface, with empty tree trunks sticking out of the water. Not cute. But if you're feeling daring and want to take a swim, you'll be transported to a whole new world. Its story goes back to the year 1911, when there was a landslide that filled the valley with rainwater, completely submerging a local forest. As mesmerizing as it might sound, it's no easy task to dive in. The water is freezing, and all the algae, plants, and submerged trees make it a risky obstacle course. Have you heard about this scorching lake on the sunny Caribbean island of Dominica? The water around the edges is at a sweltering 180 to 197 degrees Fahrenheit. No wonder no one has the guts to measure the middle. It's that hot. Sure, the heat may go down once in a while, but who knows when those waters will start boiling again? Plus, this place is full of nasty gases like carbon dioxide. Because of them, let's just say it doesn't exactly smell like roses more like rotten eggs. So unless you want to end up looking like a boiled lobster, I suggest you stay away from these waters. If you're planning a trip to Tanzania, you might want to think twice before diving into Natron Lake. Sure, it's got a beautiful reddish hue, but that's thanks to some bacteria that call this lake home. And don't even get me started on the pH levels. They're so high they might even strip the color off your swimsuit. But hey, at least the flamingos like it there. Those acid-loving birds are living their best lives in a group with 2.5 million of their closest feathered friends. How come these birds manage to thrive there, you might wonder? Well, no predators means no stress, which equals easy breeding. They also love feasting on that fancy bacteria, which makes the water all pink. You may think that Belize's great blue hole is just calling out to you with its stunning blue hues and close proximity to land. But hold your flippers, because there's a catch. Sure, it's about 900 feet across and 300 feet deep, but lurking beneath the surface is a confusing patterns of tunnels filled with coral and wildlife. It's like finding your way through a maze at a theme park, but with more fish. And as if that wasn't tricky enough, the deeper you go, the fewer creatures you'll encounter. Why, you ask? Well, it turns out that there's a sneaky layer of hydrogen sulfide that covers the entire width of the hole, depriving any living creature of oxygen. Plan on heading to the Devil's Kettle Waterfall in Minnesota? This one won't necessarily be dangerous for you, but you might end up losing some of your stuff out there if you don't pay attention. That's because this waterfall experiences a phenomenon that's a real head-scratcher for geologists. One part of the waterfall flows normally, while the other part disappears into a big old hole. And get this, not even ping-pong balls can make it out. Scientists decided to investigate, and they went all out, even using GPS trackers. Initially, they couldn't figure it out until they realized that the hole acts like a giant blender. That water is getting spun around so hard, it's basically obliterating everything in its path. 
They finally measured the water volume and saw that it was still there, so it was supposed to come back out somewhere. The most likely explanation is that the water is probably re-emerging in the stream located beneath the waterfall. You've surely heard of the Bermuda Triangle. I mean, that's old news. But let me tell you about the Pacific's very own watery trap called the Devil's Sea. It's like a game of hide-and-seek, but with ships. They disappear and we can never find them again. The Kayo Maru No. 5 was on a mission to investigate a volcanic island, but the trip ended up being just one way. Add a dash of detective work to the subject and you'll find out the whole story about the Devil Sea is more myth and less fact, but it doesn't make it any less interesting. If you're still interested in some mysterious ship disappearance, then Lake Superior is the place you'll want to read about. Even the most skilled scuba divers can't find a single piece of all those lost vessels. The main character of this lake story was a ship called the SS Edmund Fitzgerald, the biggest one to sink in the Great Lakes. To this day, people aren't sure why it sank. So, you're planning a little swim in one of the Great Lakes, huh? Well, might want to steer clear of Lake Michigan, unless you're really into extreme water sports. This bad boy has a reputation for being the most dangerous of the bunch, thanks to some sneaky undercurrents that like to snatch unsuspecting swimmers. Make sure to watch out for those pesky piers and docks that only add to the lake's swimming difficulty. If you're feeling adventurous, you might want to skip the months of October or November. This is when the temperatures start to drop and the currents get extra wild. Tibet has its dangerous lake too, and at first glance, it's gorgeous. But don't get too excited. It's got a salt content so high that nothing can survive in it. Some villagers around there actually consider it to be tainted with some sort of substance. The cherry on top? Other locals believe there's a selfish creature living in the lake who's hogging up all the space for itself. No wonder its nickname is Darkness. No list of dangerous waters is complete without Lake Victoria, the big kahuna of African lakes and the third biggest in the whole wide world. But beware, not all its waters are safe for us humans. Some regions can be real troublemakers because this lake has its own personal climate. And what does that mean? Mostly that you can't trust the weather here one bit. You could be soaking up some sweet rays one second, and the next you're running from a torrential downpour. Unless you want to be caught swimming in a storm, steer clear of this moody lake. You might have already seen pictures of Lake Hillier. It's like a giant pool of grapefruit juice in Australia. Scientists have been scratching their heads over it for centuries because they still can't figure out with certainty why it's pink. But here's the kicker, it's not the only one. Yep, there's another pink lake out there called Lake Retba. Both of these lakes have super high salt content, which is apparently a magnet for some fancy microorganisms. These little guys produce beta carotene, you know, the substance that's in carrots. And that's what gives these lakes their groovy colors. Interested in swimming in this lake? It's not technically dangerous, because the water has such high amounts of salt in it, there are no scary sea creatures to worry about. But, on the other hand, you'll need to make sure you don't accidentally take a sip. Drinking highly salted water will make you dehydrate faster than a plant in the desert. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.